everybody! Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. So today I'm going to do a little craft project. I've decided that I'd like to have something hanging behind me here, and so I'm going to make a little banner to hang behind me. I'm also going to be using my Fisker's scissors to do a little bit of cutting, and so I'm going to be making a banner um, using this shape. Um, I have made my sample out of a piece of 12 by 3 inch paper, and then I just measured how far up I wanted, and so I'm gonna use this as my sample and as my guide. So the paper I'm gonna be using today, um, it is Craftsmith, and it is really, really pretty paper. It is thicker cardstock than some, but it is only one-sided. I know that um, I generally will use the KN Company paper that's two-sided, but for this project, um, one-sided will be just fine because I'm going to be folding it over. So both sides are going to be decorated anyways, even though one will be going up against the wall. But that's how I'm going to hold it on to my twine. I think I'm probably going to be using either this one, it's a little bit thicker. This one's just a tiny bit thinner than that. So I'll be choosing between one of those. But the way I'm going to do it is once I cut my paper, it'll be attached to the string like this, and then it can hang up on the wall. I have my little compound brand, or I'm sorry, command brand clips. They are clear. They have the little stickers that go on the back, and so they'll hang up on the wall. And then if you need to remove them, they're easy to remove and they don't leave any mark on the wall at all. So let's get started. So I'm going to choose a few different pages. I really like this pretty floral paper and I'm not sure if you can see there is some shimmery gold in it, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to use this pretty blue design paper. <clears throat> I'm going to use this pretty blue floral paper. Mm, this one's pretty. A little bit of a peach design paper. Some peach floral paper. And last I'm going to use this paper with the little arrows on it. I think that'll be really cute since that's kind of the design we're going with. So I have all of my pages ready. There is also a page in this book and this is one of the reasons that I bought it that has really cute little sayings on it. So for instance, this one says love, this one says live, laugh, love. This one says um, every cloud has a silver lining, heart this, thank you, hello love, so happy together. So I'm gonna see if there's uh, possibly a way that I can incorporate these into my banner as well. So I'm just going to set these off to the side. So the first thing I'm gonna do, since I know that I want my pieces to be six inches, I'm sorry, 12 inches long, which makes them six inches long when they're folded in half and three inches wide, is I'm going to go ahead and take my cutter. These are 12 by 12 pieces of paper. So I'm just gonna line it up around the three inch mark and make a cut. I'm gonna do that with each of my papers. Awesome. So now I'm going to fold these in half. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my sample and I am just going to hold my sample up. Let me see if I can find one that might make it easier for you to see my sample. I'm gonna hold my sample up on top of the piece that I'm going to be cutting at the bottom. And I'm just going to use my Fisker scissors and follow the lines up and make the cut. You can use your cutter if you prefer. If you don't feel that you can cut a straight enough line with scissors, that's fine as well. And then just make sure you get all the way up in there. Just like that. So for now, let's continue on and attach these to our string. So I'm going to leave some room at the end. I want to make a loop and tie a knot 
because that loop is what I'm going to use to hang from my hook. So I have a little hook loop here now, and here's my hook, so it will hang on the wall just like this. It'll be very, very easy to hang and attach. So I'm gonna start with my floral piece. I'm going to leave a few inches on the end, and then what I'm going to do is take my glue stick, and I'm going to put a little glue on both sides and across here just to make sure it's going to stick and stay on. And I'm just going to hold it here for a moment, give it a little pressure so that it can adhere. So I'm going to want to do the same thing on this side as the other side and tie a knot because it's going to need to hang as well. So I just want to figure out my length and match it up here. Take into consideration the amount for the knot, for that, and for the loop. And I'm going to cut it off right here. Okay. Tie a knot on this end. And we have a really cute banner. So now the next step would be to take my paper that has designs or words and see if there's anything else I want to add to it. So I was thinking that maybe I would add live, laugh, love, because that is really, really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. Keep in mind that you can use anything you want to decorate. You can use glitter, you can use stickers, you can use... Um, Glitter glue, pearls, jewels, anything you'd like to decorate your banner. So I All right, guys. This is going to be really, really awesome. So I'm going to get this hung up so that you can see it in my next video. But first, let me turn it around and show you how cute it turned out. I'm really happy with it. I think it turned out really cute. Don't forget that you can use any type of paper, um, any kind of glitter, beads, uh, pearls to add to your design and make it a little bit more special or something more along the lines of what you're looking for. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button for me. If you missed my last video, you can watch it over here. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe by clicking the button over here. Thanks again for watching. You guys are really, really awesome, and I hope you're having a great day. Bye! I'm a crafty dog.